Hello everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mana. So, here we are, on to the next adventure. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm loving this game so far. Like, I don't know how, how long is this game, so I'm not even sure if I'm close to beating it, or what. So it looks like Bud leveled up without my consent. <laughs> And Shiro is still level 7 here. I need to level him up. Uh, but let's just move on. Yes, exit the world map. Okay. Alright, so first things first, you know, we want to go back to the junkyard. It seems like it's our main playground at this point. <laughs> Alright, let's go to junkyard. And yeah, you want to talk to this person apparently. From what I heard, you can teleport. Yeah, yeah, teleport service. All I charge is love. Sorry, I got no love. <laughs> so you want to go to the uh, bombs laboratory here. There we go. I'm Professor Bomb. Well, okay, just don't blow me up. <laughs> All the junk lying around here is is the remnants of the artifact creatures. They fought in a war a long time ago. Once I made a golem out of this trash, but you know what? He ran away. Oh my god, he ran away. No way. <laughs> when I think of all the bad things he must be doing out there, it makes me want to cry. Aw. I guess even I have lapses of judgment now and then. Now and now and again. What what now? I name him Pavlov. If you see you you see if you could find him somehow, I'd be so happy. I'll find him, sure. You will? Thank you, thank you, Donkey. <laughs> donkey Sean. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get out of here. In order to find him, let's see. Is it in here? Can I talk to one of the animals? Maybe they give up. Long ago, we would fly into the air and battle against the fairies. Cool. You didn't tell me anything. <laughs> eh, whatever. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Hmm, do I even have the place? Okay, I do. So yeah, apparently in this place, right here. There we go. Let's go inside. Look at Shiro sleeping in the loading screen. So it's the same place where we fought that thing, whatever. The master, uh, the Gorgon Eye, yeah. So I think it's this guy is the Golem. Ha 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 ha! So we need to follow him, right? Yeah. Too many toys here. What's going on? I left Professor to start my own research. I exterminate foolish creatures with Golem army. Oh. Great. Wait, where is his army then? Okay, should be hard. Come on, I can't believe I missed. <laughs> There we go. He's confused or unbalanced or what do you, whatever you want to call it. I call um, I call it unbalanced because it's from Suikoden <laughs> series. Whenever someone like gets a uh, kind of that kind of status effect, they get a uh, unbalanced kind of thing. So yeah. God, I'm doing terrible. There we go. We're done. All right, everybody, grab your shit. 
Well, at least Shiro got something. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Take over the world, fiddlesticks. <laughs> what the? He's floating. Is uh, whatever. I'll redesign you. <laughs> okay. What? What was that about? <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's go back home and have the cactus write down the things we did. Where's my home? <laughs> I was honestly like, where's my home? I can't believe it's gone. Oh, there you go. Alright, here we go. Dear Diary, Today I fought a golem who tried to take over the world. Fine, fine. I mean, we already know that he can move. Why does he keep acting like he's still a cactus? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get this game. <laughs> Good boy. All right, up to the next. On to the next quest. Yes. Yeah, I'm taking Bud everywhere pretty much because I don't want to fight alone with my pet. <laughs> Shiro is only level 9. He's not that strong. I want to upgrade some weapons here. Oh, what? I built a golem laboratory right here. I'm sure the golems you make won't go on violently killing spree. <laughs> yes, I won't make that mistake. I'll give you a guided tour. Walk this way. I mean, technically it's my house and that place is my laboratory where I Upgrade my stuff. Sure, just come in right away. <laughs> Welcome to the Golem Laboratory. I brought everything you need from my lab. Uh, let's heat it up. So, do we get more uh, companions to uh, to come with? That's awesome. Is it? Impressive, eh? But there's still some things missing. I'm talking about light balls and logic blocks, and I won't just give them to you. I'm gonna test you to see if you get what it takes, kid. I'll be using problems straight from my book, Basic Golemology. What? That's Is that a thing? Have you read it? Never heard of it. Of course you haven't. I haven't even published it yet. Published it yet. That explains so much. A while back, a traveling merchant came and begged me to publish it. He made me buy an old pen and some writing paper for a ridiculous amount. Let me guess, that merchant is Nicolo, <laughs> because I can just picture him. <laughs> so I decided to put my thoughts down, but the merchant never came back for, for the mana scarab. Yep, it's Nicolo. <laughs> it tricked me. Yeah, again, it's Nicolo. Nicolo. The guy is a, a one-trick pony. <laughs> but that book never leaves my sight. It's the fruit of my labor, after all. Well, here it is, so read up. Sure, we'll start the test as soon as you finish. Ugh, I have to read books? Are you serious? A golem composition. Okay, so they give you the question and then the answer. Okay, cool. What are the necessary components of a go golem? Completed A. The answer is a completed body and logic blocks. The body of the golem determines its power level and the logic blocks provides the techniques for the weapon it uses. Okay, so I'm very good at memorizing a uh, question and memorizing uh, uh, memorize the answers and questions like that. Like I'm very good at multiple choices kind of thing. <laughs> what, are the ch what are the necessary components of a golem? Completed body and logic blocks. Okay, I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> a golem's body. What makes up a golem's body? At least one weapon or a piece of armor. Max up a golem's body, at least one weapon or a, or a piece of armor. Okay. A golem's body is made of combining, made by combining a life ball with at least one weapon or a piece of armor. You can only use one weapon per golem, but up to three pieces of armor. Its parameters and performance are determined by the 
by the pr properties of the uh, equipment items used to make it. Okay, next. One mix up a logic block, two pieces of equipment. Logic blocks are made by combining two pieces of equipment from your list of armor, weapons, or instruments. Each block represents a single technique and blocks and can be arranged to instruct Golem how to behave. So we are getting another party member, right? So that's awesome. So we have four people then. Well, three if Bud doesn't come along. <laughs> what determines the size of the logic grid? The number of armor pieces used to make a golem's body. Okay. Number of armor pieces used to make a golem's body. You just gotta remember that. <laughs> the larger the grid, the more logic blocks it can hold, and the wide variety of actions the golem can perform. Got it. <sighs> what determines a logic block's type? The combination of its components. Combination of its components. Combination of its components. Got it. Experiment with different equipment combinations to create the logic blocks you want and customize your golem's actions pattern. Logic blocks type. What determines a logic block shape? The, go the combination of its components. Logic blocks can have one of 11 shapes and a block's effectiveness derives from the parameters of the mat materials used to make it. Okay. What determines a golem attack type? type of a weapon used to make its body okay all right you just have to remember everything <laughs> the logic block can only be placed on the logic grid if it is compatible with the golem's attack type all right two more what determines golem's attack and defense levels the properties of, it, of the weapons and armor used to make it so if we have like a good uh, materials we can use it to to make better golem that's awesome okay i think we have a few items right i don't know i don't remember <laughs> i know that i use some of them to feed my pet and also grow some fruit well we'll see a golem stats such as hp attack defense and elemental lo levels are determined by the material materials it used to make its body logic logic grid size and mal malfunction rate are determined by other means i apologize if i read terribly <laughs> uh, uh how is the malfunction rate determined by the number of armor pieces used okay the higher the percentage shown on the menu screen, the more frequently the golem's attacks will fa will fail to trigger. If one action fails, actions connected by wedge marks on the logic grid will also fail. Jesus. <laughs> How does a golem decide which action to take? What, by comparing its action gauge with the distance to the enemy. A logic grid has two axes, one for the action gauge, one for the distance to the enemy. The golem calculates these values and decides which action to take based on the result. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Are you ready to- oh, what? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, test, I know. Alright, let's go. I think I remember it. Memorize them all. Fine, fine, now for the test. Question, question. Here's a really basic problem. What do you need to activate a golem? Uh, shit. I already forgot. No, there's no. That's not the right atmosphere. An instrument? No. A body and logic block. Yeah, they mentioned that a lot in the book. <laughs> that's right. Question. Question. Another basic problem. What do you need to build a golem's body? Uh, an instrument? No. Money? Probably. I mean, we have to buy some stuff. But no, it's weapons or armor. That's right, that's right. Question, question. Logic blocks can be made from weapons, armor, and what else? Shit. Brains? No. Minos bronze? No. No, I think, I think this is it. Musical instruments. That's right. Not bad at all. Here's one life ball. Yay. Question, question. What determines the size of the logic grid the brains of a golem <laughs> damn it the number of battles now 
Preschool education. <laughs> no, the number of armor pieces. That's right. Question. Logic blocks control golem behavior. What determines their type? Uh, combination of equipment, equipment wears and tears, genes. No, they, there's no genes in golem making. <laughs> golem making. <laughs> combination of equipment. Yeah. That's right. Bet on all. Here's another life ball. Yay. Question, question. What qui what equipment and properties determine the shape of a logic block? Their attack and defense? Uh, specific standard time. Uh, that's obviously not. <laughs> so it's either these two. So what equipment properties determine the shape of a logic block? Attack and defense, the materials they're made of. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, this, this is this one. That's right. Question, question, what determines a golem's attack type? Ah, fudge. No, not move. I'm guessing D is always the wrong answer. <laughs> I mean, the third option. What are you calling it? D? <sighs> There's no way we're weapon color. There's no such thing as weapon color, right? So, weapon type. That's right. Here's the last ball, hell yeah. Life balls are glo globular crystals of pure mana. You can't make a golem's body without one. And you can't activate a golem without a logic block. Let's get on with the test. There's more? Damn it. A golem's attack power is determined by that of the weapons used to make it. By what determines its defensive strength? Jesus. <laughs> The number of armor pieces, the armor sent, no. Again, third option is always a no. So it's either one of these, it's always one of these. I'm guessing A? That's right. Question, question. What determines a golem's malfunction rate? <sighs> okay. The number of sorties, how oh, malfunction- Oh my god. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> no, it's gotta be this one now. That's right. The vertical axis on the logic board represents the attack gauge. What does the horizontal axis represent? Oh shoot me. That love. Yes, love. Love represents the horizontal axis. <laughs> no, there can be a hit points. Distance to the enemy. I mean, it's how far is it, right? Yeah, okay, distance to the enemy. That's right. Oh my. You pass. Wow. Shocking. I present you with logic block cauldron. You can make logic blocks by putting weapons, armor, and instrument in inside. You can't activate golem without logic blocks, so put the cauldron to good use. I'll give you this as well. What is it? You receive basic golemology. <laughs> I'll leave my research to you. But first, I'll explain how to actually make a golem here. To make the body, use one of those three life balls on the pedestal there. And use the cauldron to make a logic block. You can use you can also use the cauldron to organize or throw away your blocks. I'm retiring from golemology. <laughs> from here on, I want you to continue my research. How about no? <laughs> I've had enough of it, it takes so much cash. Oh great, we already broke as it is. You heard me, to create an activate golem, you need money. Ugh, great. A job. <laughs> uh, you, to make a body, you need at least one weapon or piece of armor. And you need 12 weapons, pieces of armor, or instruments to make 6 logic blocks. Preparing the materials takes a lot of time and money. I wish you luck in continuing my research into golemology. Try your best. Making golem is a lot of fun, you know? Yeah, but... You gotta spend money? Come on. Is there another easy way? What now? I'm going home. But to help you to get started, I want you to have this. You... I already have that. Okay, I don't have that one. You get Valsena... Iron. You get Grand Steel. Fine, fine. Good luck in your research. What is every 
scientist or blacksmith in this game is so crazy. Like the other guy, the blacksmith guy, I forgot his name already. <laughs> Golem, go make him. Ah <laughs> oh boy. What am I doing with my life? Alright, let's go back to my home. Oh, I'm already home. So I'm just gonna go here and talk to the cactus. Alright, let's go talk to you. Talk to him. Golemy Wallamy. What? I don't get you sometimes, bro. Ah, <sighs> man. What to do with my life? Ah. <sighs> Apologies, I was drinking Powerade. Hey, take me search on West Times. Yeah, sure. Alright, what's next? What's something else that's going to kill me? I'm not gonna make Golem yet, I'll do that later. <sighs> do I have any artifacts? No, I don't. Hmm. You know what, let's go to here. McKeith Caverns. What, did we go here before? Oh yeah, we definitely went here. Oh my god. This little thing. Yeah, this is where we've saved Pearl. I don't think... So. Yeah. That's not I don't think we've been here yet. Lumina. It's another town, looks like. So, maybe some good stuff. <sighs> That's what I want to save. Alright, let's go. Bright Moon Sky Ale. No! Damn it! Alright. Dub. Rub a dub dub dub. <laughs> and no, I don't watch Rick and Morty. I just saw a glimpse of a uh, like scene of it. Oh no, it's Nicolo. Let's not talk to him yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buy item. What do you got? Ooh, lapis lazuli. It's nine thousand now. Jesus, they're all expensive. Screw that. No, I don't want to get out of here, Nicolo. Okay, where to? Morning Moon Alley. This place is creepy as hell. Is it here? Oh, Monique, your eyes sparkle like the stars above, yet you slip away from me like mist on a spring morning. What a simp. <laughs> Limelight. I'm Monique, and this is my lamp shop. Oh, you're the girl who that guy was simping. <laughs> Business has been slow today. If I could just sell six more lamps, maybe I should just maybe I should close my shop and move to another town. Oh no, my love, you mustn't say such a crazy things. <laughs> Are you saying that you're never you've leaving your poil of love your Gilbert? Oh, this this guy is Gilbert. I can't live without you by my side as I gaze up at starry starry sky. <laughs> ah. But if I don't sell my lambs, I'll starve. True. In that case, I may have an idea. My sweet Ling, I'll sell the six lambs for you. Well, that's very nice of you. Wait for me right there, my darling. Here begins our lo beautiful love story. Ugh. The spirit's light. Ah, crap. Oh, you there, traveler. Take these. You wouldn't leave my dearest Monique in distress like that, would you? I don't even know her. <laughs> Let's go sell those six lamps for her. 
I'll buy my share of the lambs, but you should go sell yours. They cost 1,000 lucre each. For well, of course, you can always buy them yourself. Uh, should I? I mean, I only get 1,000. <sighs> should I? Fine, I'll go sell them. What a good sport. So willing to help my struggling sweetheart. Yes, I'll be your wingman on this one. You better, you better help me next time, okay? When a girl comes over. <laughs> All right. Hmm. How do I talk to them? Dub. Move. Dub. Move. This is annoying. I can't push anyone. <laughs> the dud bears are regulars here, so I picked up their language. I can teach you a few words if you like. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Alright, teach me. First is dub. This is a greeting, but it also means yes. Okay. Dud means no. And also goodbye. Okay. Duba is you. Duda is me. <laughs> oh my god. Daba means friends. Boo boo means dud bear. And goo goo is used for all other creatures. Da means light. And stars and ba means night. Dada is lamp. Duba ba ba means many or very, and do stands for little. Baba means music. They sure do love music. <laughs> Dada means please, and gak is used to show displeasure. Oh, like gag. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> say bub when you don't understand. For example, if you wanted to sell a lamp, you say da 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 da. <laughs> Duba <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, shit, I already forgot. Is it dub? Ha ha ha, very convincing. I guess? No, you know what? It's fine. Alright, so let's try talking to this guy. Duda boo boo duda boo boo. Oh, fudge me. <laughs> Already. Uh, you, I think, I think dud is you, right? Yeah. Duda dub ba duba duba. Scuba dooba dooba, yeah, yeah, scuba dooba dooba, yeah, believe in magic. <laughs> uh, shoot. Dad. Duda dooba ba, dooba 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 ba ba dooba. <laughs> my god, what am I doing with my life? <sighs> Dub? Da 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 da. Da 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 <laughs> I think it's this one. Dub. Because we already picked dub. That means no. That means yes. Dub means... I. I think. Duba duda duba dub. <laughs> oh my lord. What am I doing? So... Da 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 I think yeah this is a question so I'm guessing this is you wanna buy my lamp da 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 You sold the first lamp Dub Rubba dub 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 <laughs> Alright let me just go back and learn this first is dub this is a greeting, but it also means yes. Dub means yes. Let me write that down. Dud means no. So D-U-D means no. And also goodbye. 
Duba is you. Duda is me. Duba is you. Duda is me. Duba means friends. Bubu means dud bear. And Gugu is used for all the other creatures. Da means light. And stars. And Ba means night. Duda, Dada is lamb. Duba Baba means many or very. Ah, uh, God, this is so hard to understand. <laughs> Baba means music. They should do love music, yes. Dada means please. And gag means no. No means no. <laughs> say bub when you don't understand. For example, if you wanted to sound a lamb, you say da 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 da. Yeah, 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 that's what I just did. Duba da. Ah, uh, da. Haha, <laughs> you'll get the hang of it soon. I guess. I don't know. Alright, so. It looks like we need to sell the lamps to the. What do you call this again? The dud bears. <laughs> Baba, da baba. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I already forgot what he says. I'm just gonna do ba da ba. <laughs> and da do da da do ba. Dud. Duba Duba. Dub. Duba Duda Duba Dub. Fudge me. I don't understand. Alright, now we get the, uh, the option that says, you wanna buy my lamp? You sold the second lamp. Hooray. Dub. Yes. Dubstep. Maybe, what's, it, what's their favorite music? Dubstep? <laughs> Uh, I don't like dubstep. I mean, there are some like uh, songs that I like by dubstep. Maybe uh, Skrillex was it? But I'm not very fond of dubstep. I'm more of a rock and roll guy, <laughs> punk rock kind of thing. Let me hey, give me one second. I just need to take my uh, stuff here. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I see there's one here. Oh wait, that's a leafy whatever. <laughs> I already forgot the name. The cow isn't anywhere. He's inside my mind. What cow? So, let's talk to this guy. Duda Gak Duba. <laughs> oh my god. Sup, dud. Duba Gak Dububu. Uh, dud. Bubu? <laughs> Dub. Duba duda duba duh. Okay, I think now I, we get the option to offer him this. Sold all the lambs, hooray. Dub. <laughs> Let's start jamming dubstep. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't like dubstep. It's weird. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Gilbert. You sold them all? What talents you have? No, we just we just go dubstep on everyone here. <laughs> Sweet Monique, it's time to open your heart to me. Come with me, traveler. I'll show you what true love is. Let me guess, he's gonna she's gonna fall in love with me instead of him. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm totally gonna cock him. <laughs> Good news, my strawberry. We sold all six of your lambs. Oh my. I mean, I do like that kind of, uh, like, you know. I don't mind. I actually find a uh, Loli Lolita gothic uh, girl thing, whatever. No, like goth chick, whatever. Is. Dopeful. <laughs> like, my ex girlfriend is actually. Uh, has this goth look, which is awesome. I love her. <laughs> oh my. That's wonderful. You put your heart into making them. My sweetness. Of course, they sold. The reason why I love it, because I myself, uh, kind of like a 
emo guy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm 25. I'm almost 26. But just find it very hard, I guess. Goth chicks. <laughs> you know, I think I keep my little shop open after all. Oh, darling. You mustn't continue as a lamp maker. I need you to be the sunlight that brightens my world. My god, man. Where do you learn how to sweet talk like this? <laughs> I mean, I can't do that. <laughs> Come, my love. Let's go out to, s to feel the stardust showering down on us. I feel as though the world was created so this very day might happen. <laughs> I was just thinking about getting a little fresh air. I've been cooped up in here and for 6 days straight work on my lambs, so you didn't take shower at all? Jeez. Oh my god, she can fly! What the hell is she? A harpy girl? <laughs> okay. So... So like what? What is she supposed to be anyway? Can I go there? Okay. Morning, I have a dream. I wish to tell you if you care to listen. I have a dream! <laughs> of course, Gilbert. Perhaps I can tell you my dreams in, re in return. Monique, you could easily sell your lambs to any old passerby. The few fans of my lambs come from afar just to buy them. You should have some dud bears do, do the dirty, messy work of making them. I quite enjoyed the time and effort I put into making each one. We could even commission a fam famous designer to make us a masterpiece. It's fun to gather the odds and ends to make unique lambs. That's all we'll do, we'll be rich before we know it. The money isn't great but the joy I get out of my work is what I live for. Hmm, don't you have dreams, Monique? I feel sorry for you if not. Wow. Every day is like a dream come true to me. But when I'm with you, I feel like I can't be myself. Come, my princess. It's time to go out and see the world. Are my dreams not good enough for you? My nightly dreams? My hopeful dreams? You might not see them, but they're real to me. Hmm. Monique, our dreams don't seem to play in perfect harmony. I must leave this town to look for a new love. Wow! All that effort for nothing. Oh, you came to that conclusion rather quickly. After I recover from this heartbreak, I too shall find new love. Farewell, my dearest. I shall never forget you. Goodbye, Gilbert. Goodbye. So... What a waste of time this is. <laughs> this was. Are you serious? Let me talk to her again. Gibbler was a little, little strange, but he was a nice guy deep down. He wanted much bigger lamp than the little ones I have. It's not the size of the lamp that's important. All that matters is that it works, right? Truth be told, this breakup has me down. Does this really count as a breakup? <laughs> Duh. Yes. What was that? The uh, dud bears. Wow, there's so many of them. No, oh, I mean there's only three. <laughs> duba, duba, da, da, dub, duba, 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 ba, 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 dub. <laughs> oh my. The bab. Oh my god, I almost thought I just I thought it was dab. <laughs> Da bab da boo da da do bab do bab ba ba da. Does she even understand? Wow, she understands it. Really, you think so? Da da. Da da five thousand. <laughs> Not at all. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Ah, wow. The dud bear said that they really love my lambs. This is why I love this job. I never been happier here. Take this. You get the artifact trembling spoon. That's not good. <laughs> Spears of light. Oh my god, he's a centaur? 
I didn't even notice. Alright, I'm gonna end this part here. I'm just gonna go back home and then talk to the cactus. But yeah, I'm gonna end the part here. But let me just... Yeah, maybe there's something else happening and when I go home. So let's go there. Alright, let's go talk to him. Talk to him. Dub. Oh no, not you too. <sighs> but yeah, alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope you guys have an amazing day or night. Whichever prefer. Whichever you guys are. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, later guys, thank you for watching.